Thank you for that important reminder. Because for so many of us, are we not looking outside of ourselves into this world of time and space and materiality for something to satisfy, to fulfill us? We're going to take a moment now to close our eyes if that's comfortable and possible for you. Take a deep breath and let those two actions on your part be a demonstration of your willingness to turn your attention, your preoccupation, away from everything that's going on outside of you. That takes a deep and abiding willingness on your part and on my part. For always, the world outside of us is clamoring for our attention, filled with drama, turmoil, and trouble and concern. We don't find those qualities when we move deep into the center of our being. When we rediscover what Jesus called the kingdom, which is within us, from which we've never departed. We have but fallen asleep for a moment or two or three or four to the reality of who and what we are, to our divine authenticity. And we are now in the process, the experience, the revelation of awakening, of remembering that we are not the product of lies that have been delivered to us by the world outside of us. We are, by virtue of our own divinity, heirs to all that God is. We are forever united without separation with this power that indwells us. And this morning is the perfect morning, dear friend, for you and I to pause from the reckless world of time and space and form and matter and find peace and refuge in the internal space, in the eternal space that is forever within us. We experience this kingdom, this space, when we close our eyes, release to the best of our ability any cares or concerns that may be before us, and rest in the absolute certainty that the truth of our identity is that of peace and love and joy. Move now into that still, small center of your being and rejoice in the remembrance of who and what you are in a space of stillness, in a space of silence. From this space, you and I, dear friends, are sending forth an energy, an authentic and loving energy. 
one of your greatest powers is to direct that energy as you choose. I encourage you to direct it to yourself, to your loved ones, to any situation or circumstance that is disturbing you. Send the authentic energy of love and know that in so doing you are giving yourself, your loved ones, and all of your brothers and sisters in the family of humanity the greatest Easter gift you can ever give. The remembrance that the glory of God is in all of us. That's our prayer on this Easter morning and every morning of our lives. And we pray it in the name, in the nature, and through the power of all that is sacred, all that is beautiful, and all that is holy.